Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Campaign 2, Episode 77, Mighty Nine Time. Last we saw in the Patreon Hour exclusive, Caleb has gone into the dungeon with Essek and everybody. Everybody's tagged along. They said they were doing it for moral support and guidance. Because Jester said earlier in the Patreon Hour, Bo rolled real quick. Marisha rolled real quick. And Jester was like, ah, uh, I forget that I have this guidance thing that could get you a reroll. So now... She was basically saying, Guidance, a.k.a. if you got to roll for something, wait a little bit, because then I'll remember to use Guidance and you get a re-roll. Either way, we are talking to this person. They won't give us their name. They are more emaciated and tortured looking than ever before. Caleb had bought them time from getting executed, but they're making it almost sound like it is more torturous for this person to be kept alive than if we had just executed them earlier on. Now, I understand that Caleb's thinking maybe he could do something to get her not executed, but it doesn't seem like that is the case. And right before we walked in, Essek literally said, you better not pull any shenanigans. If we find out you're trying to get this person out, we are going to kill you. He didn't flat out say that. But at the very least, they're going to throw Caleb in prison. He's like, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, very adamantly, like, I would hate to have this happen. Caleb was like, we wouldn't ruin the dynasty and our bond and our relationship. Like, everything that we have built with the Jor house and everything. But Essek is just saying, all right, I am just letting you know. This is some serious shit. So we go in. She is bound without a foot of movement in either direction. And she is dark and creepy, like, I mean, I would don't blame her, but Caleb's trying to get through to her empathetically, trying to get empathy back. But he had earlier said in the episode, empathy's probably been beaten out of her. And then she said, my heart was beaten out long ago. We're still in talks with her right now. We had to stop the Patreon hour. I didn't know how much longer it was going to go. So we're in the middle of us in the dungeon with her, don't have a name. She said, what does it matter? And he's saying, well, I understand where you're coming from, but it might matter. You might not think it matters, but your name might matter. And all they care about is that their dark, sinister ways have changed the course of history. Uh, they were saying, you're going to get it. The people that you've run from or that, like, you were a part of this, they're not too happy with you. We had other things happen, too, earlier with Ford and the sword. Ford now could summon a sword out of his hand like he used to be. Different kinds of power seems way stronger, more jacked up, according to the look that people are expressing when they see him. So, let's just jump in. You guys want to see more of what I do in the description of every video as a link for Patreon. You'll see the Patreon Hour exclusive for every episode of Campaign 2. Vox Machina Season 1 and 2, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, The New Justified, Heartstopper Season 2, and Season 4 of High School Musical, the musical the series just started. They're all on YouTube and Patreon. Check it out in full. In the description is the link for Patreon. Hundreds of movies and shows. If not, Campaign 2, Episode 77, Mighty Nine Time. I hope this lesson has been very Look at Caleb's face. He does not look pleased. It has. You've made what I have to do very plain. And Caleb fires. I don't know if you want it or not, but I'll be staying around for the end. I consider you a sister, so even if you don't share the sentiment, She leans against the chains a bit, kind of tensing, and you hear them kind of pull and rattle. Well. Wow. I've always been a little impatient. You see a whip of motion. Oh my gosh, she's gonna the break her neck. Slack, and the arm arcs around towards you. You go to cast counter spell. There's no spell. Can I leap forward? <laughs> Surprise round, it does not. Okay. Does that hit a 16? Mm -hmm. Okay. What? I did not expect you this. Suffer. Thank God I paused it. We would have been in some shit. I just felt like there seems like more is going to happen, so yes, let's just break. Right. 26 points of piercing damage. Oh my Ooh. god. As it looks like in one of the hands where a chain had been wrenched free is clutching a pointed piece of metal. 
that has been thrust into your clavicle and throat. Oh my god. You guys watch as a spray of blood begins to out of Holy Caleb's shit. chest as she pulls back to go in for another I stab. That's when I've already like moved forward. And beat her across the face with it. Transmuter okay. stone and beat her across the face. I did not expect that at all. Oh my god. I'm gonna stay till the Ooh. end. Natural twenty. All right. Amazing. Uh, go ahead and He literally says I'm gonna stay till the end. Because you're like a sister to me. And she stabs yeah, him zero. in zero. the throat. Oh, it's plus one. It's one. No wait, is it? No, that's <laughs> saves. Zero. Okay, so <laughs> what are you guys doing? I'm leaping forward. I'm gonna yell, Caduceus! Yeah. And then I'm gonna I honestly crash her thought she was gonna snap shield. her own neck or right. Like, Go I thought she was gonna kill herself. Shield. Like, I'm impatient. I thought impatient meant I wanna die now. I, I thought she was I gonna kill herself right in front of us. Just, um, Is it an ar- it's unarmed just, strike? Or? That'd be unarmed strike. It's to be considered an unarmed strike, it's the flavor of the shield. So 20. Be, so be 20? Yes. Yeah, so that would be, uh, that would definitely hit. Go ahead and just, it's one damage plus your strength. All right. So Caleb natural um, twenty. I'm running into separate. Jester twenty, dirty twenty. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to push okay. her back with the shield so, four. All right, so yeah, you you push her back. <laughs> the chains kind of pull Todd against the backside as she's she's now kind of pressed against the other half of the the taut weight. You pull Caleb back. Mm-hmm. You know the the blood kind of just oof, oof, out of the wound. Managed to not strike quite as vitally as she had hoped. Though in the moment, it still frightens you to see the amount of blood with a simple puncture. Uh, the guards immediately rush in and, raising their crossbows, fill her chest with, with bolts. Oh. At which point, you watch as she begins to lift up off the ground from the chains, and you see Essek, his hand out of his cloak, lifting her off the ground. She's dead. See, she's impatient, see so she knew they'd kill her. She and wanted to die. Blood from the corners of her mouth, her eyes wide. Essek kind of just looks to you. I walk up to her and just stare into her eyes from six inches away. Oh. Two a sec. Oh. And you watch as her entire central torso crushes inward. The chains go taut, and you hear the metal bend as some of the chains begin to pull and break in places before she is dropped to the ground limply. I to look into Caleb's eyes as that was happening. I wanted to see what he was. I am was helping apply pressure. So her impatience, impa- in impatient, impatient. You can't do them in here. We got to move them out here. I'll, I'll help Cad move them out. She thought if I strike him, they'll have to kill me immediately. Why not? So I'm <laughs> guessing. Can we, can we heal him? She hafted that to die him. and hafted that to uh, okay. tell him to go. Already loaded new bolts into the crossbow, and they're all just keeping an eye on. What the a thing to happen! You're like a sister. Wounds. I'm gonna watch um, till the end. I'll just do him like a level three cure wounds. Tries to that kill him. Do it. Let's see what you have got, because if not, I'll deal. That no. unexpected. Oh, nice. And then Essek. Oh my God! Everyone shot her, and then uh, Essek crushed her. 18 points of healing. I'll do care wounds. It looks like he's still bleeding a little bit. I'll do a <laughs> level uh, a level two. Alrighty. That took an unexpected yeah. turn. Yeah. I kind of saw that whole thing coming. We went there to try to get some answers or try to get through to Did she give her? We didn't even get a name. We never even got a name. Oh, yes. Yes? Oh, yes. Do you have anything else you want to? Talk to her about. Oh, don't think she. Yeah. Really oh, care. that's right. Caduceus could. I don't think, think she would be willing. Yeah, to Caduceus could raise her. Handled. Yeah, Caduceus could raise her, and oh, have, and oh, ask that's, questions. Death is just a pause. I yes. thought the same thing as Travis. I was like, I don't think you're going to talk to this lady anymore. Like, but we have that ability. Yes. <laughs> would you allow us? To question the body. Use this corpse for an interrogation. I don't see why not. Under our supervision, quickly, and do not mention that I allowed this to anybody. Awesome. So Essek is on board. And, says, and that goes for you as well. The guards all kind of. Risk. I like it. Yeah, I love it. A bit and kind of, kind of that means Essek either is very curious to see himself um, or 
um, is that good of a friend already that he's allowing this to go down for us. To keep the, it might be for his own needs, but hey, much. we're doing it. I thought he was going to say no. So what are you guys doing? Sorry, I got an idea. Um, yeah. Awesome. So Essek is really having our back. Or like I said, maybe he's got his own agenda. Um, if, you give me, if you give me a day for, to speak with her, I just need a head. I oh. just need a head. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought my friends were prepared. I wasn't prepared. ready to do it immediately. Would but, you take uh, our head with us? Oh, God. Uh, unfortunately, no. Can we this, take um, her head? You can't do it. Right? This needs to be notified. He needs a day. Immediately to the rest of the dens, and the body needs to be produced. So if there's something you cannot do now, I'm Can afraid. we have I her head? We find information in a way that we were not just able to do. I think that we could speak to her. I have seen him do it. Are you attempting to speak to the corpse? Yes. The head. As her master, yes. Then I cannot allow it. That is standard procedure after execution. And the body cannot be utilized in the same way again. If they attempt to make the body available for such a ritual, and it does not work, they will know that it has been done in advance. Well, which will lead just... them to me, which will lead them to you. Ah. Can I just request to be in the room when they do it? <laughs> I think that may be stepping beyond the bounds of which your uh, arrangement here is that seems fair. situated. Okay, I get it. That makes sense. I want sense. to help as much as I can, but there are limitations. You know, she. I think she did this intentionally. I think this was... Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean... All she said I'm considered in... it's a clever way of making sure you can't ask any more questions. Yeah. She was also waiting for this opportunity. What if she knows where the beacon is now? Then we will find it from the body. But you can't be the ones to do it. There is protocol. And the last thing you need is anything like this to be traced back to me or you. Did Matt know they couldn't You've do it? And generous. that's why he agreed to it? <laughs> now I'm starting to wonder. Yeah. Because Essek agreeing to it to begin with, so. I was shocked by. Maybe Matt was like, yeah, I'll agree uh, to it, because you, I know you can't do it. Because Matt knows the game and so well. He would have known they would have that ability or not, right? Hand. Wipes her hair out of her eyes. We never got a name. I'm thinking we might figure it out at some I'm point. Sorry. Somebody in the distant future might tell us who she was. I think we are done here. I think we are. Are there any right. scars on the body? Uh, well, uh, the arms and legs have been newly pulled out of the sockets, where the torso has been crushed inward and the chains were pulled taut. Essentially, the body was kind of pulled away from the limbs. And de dislocated all the limbs. Still attached, but definitive uh, separation. Crushed internally. the torso uh, most of and the torso ripped has been the arms and legs inward. out of the, the sockets. The jaw has been kind of broken in, and it's. it's I was specifically curious about the arms and legs. The arms and legs, uh, you do notice there are scars among the forearms that are similar to the ones that Caleb had. I'd like to, if it's all right, quickly just approach the body for a second. Uh, as you do, Essie goes, careful. You do have to leave soon. Of course. No funny business. Nothing funny. I want to uh, palpate the region. I want to press the arm and see if I what the scars feel like. Okay, make a medicine check. Thank you. I'm gonna look over Khadiz's shoulder because I know what he's doing. I dig it. What are you trying to figure out from this? I yeah. want to know what caused the scars. Okay. I want to know. Oh. We know this though, don't we? I don't from know jamming what he's in. You, were, you thought he was trying to I thought, it. I, no, I thought he was gonna see if there's still crystals in there. Yeah. That's I what I, I thought. Know that yet. I'm not okay. But I do know they're magic. Uh, I swear so that's what I was thinking. I yeah, thought he was gonna the see scars. if there's still yeah. crystals in there. Because we already know where the scars came from. But 25. I thought he was gonna see if the crystals okay. were still Looking in there. Looking them over, you can see that there are multiple, probably for each arm, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 individual scars that are puncture scars. Mm -hmm. um, they aren't seemingly violent, and they've healed over fine, but they are placed in, uh, while well, at first glance it appears to be random, you can see what looks to be faint patterns in their placement in the arms, intentional. 
Does it look like like runes or anything like that? Or? Not like runes, but you get the sense that at least these scars are deliberate and they're mirrored on each arm. Hmm. And they're mirrored on each arm. Deliberate wow. patterns okay. mirrored on each arm. So this is the same thing that happened to you? Touch anything. Get yelled at. Yes, all of his students. Okay. I think we should get out of here. Trent yes. Ikathon. One last thing. Did he did she just manage to break that chain or file it down or it seemed like she was under lock and key. I think How over time she just broke it. Happen? Like yes, just keep I'm yanking I'm curious on it. about that myself. And the other guards kind of look at each other. My guess is she pulse. just kept one of them begins talking, yanking on it. Speak under comment, if right? you're in prison for days and days and days, and no one's really paying just close don't. attention, <laughs> she could probably keep yanking on the chain. Yeah, none of you here. There was some conversation. Breaks it free, sharpens the edge, waits the for her moment. Yes, it gets Not even trying to escape, at the guard. just to kind of stab someone bit. in the neck and get killed. Seems to curtail and step back into his position as it looks back at you. Mm. Well, uh, it seems that these scourges, these uh, Volstrucker, are um, well trained. Yes. That doesn't keep, shock keep me. Going. How, They're just tough off as hell. I'm They've been tortured and, and traumatized their lives. The body. Ripping How a chain out, sharpen it she? to die sooner. Does it shock? Even glance outside beside the, the the crushed status of the body from what you've seen, probably in the neighborhood of between like five two and five six. Also, Can you study her features? I'd been doing that while they were having the conversation. Can Why? You make yourself look, look like, like her? her? I was gonna yes, say disguise. <laughs> Okay, so you're like studied. a slightly, slightly better looking. Yeah. Right, she's a real pro. Right yeah. uh, and also out of out of character, did she uh, seem younger or older than Caleb? Younger than Caleb. Yeah, yeah you'd probably guess looking at her. It's hard to tell with how emaciated and, and unhealthy she is from the time she spent here after being captured. But uh, you surmise somewhere in the mid to late twenties. Jorhasi okay. High, the next generation. Jorhasi and High. Stop it! God damn it! The next generation. Sorry. Let's get out of here. Okay. Home we go. Well, okay. we do know what she looks like in case we ever have to impersonate and back to your her. Home above ground. What would you like to do? I don't know. <laughs> what do we do? We're gonna check in with the break queen. Do we need to like? No, apply I don't think that's gonna happen. That? Yeah. I don't think we Maybe need to do that. mission towards our dead. Is it Essex? Still yeah, we already wait. got our mission. We don't have with to see you the break queen. So is it is it uh, on us? Uh, there are no resources of any kind that you could provide. Yeah. In, in our in the Patreon hour, Essex told us we had to do a mission. We have to fulfill our debt to the Bright Queen. What kind of resources Go would get you the require? beacon. Everything is being placed into the war effort for right now, so but it is. We a got no information. Stretched. Go get a beacon. It's up north, I think he said. Know the last place this no, what did he say? was I've seen. seen. Here we the go. last Perfect. place that we know of it was. That's what I asked. Felderwin. You don't have to have any safe When he gave us the um, mission, I said, I want to know where it last was seen, because lines. odds of it being in the same place twice we have a few locations are unlikely, that we've established, or at least we'll start there the and, and move out keeping them safe, in other directions. Respectfully, I cannot tell you. Felderwin. He said there's other spies already that, going the, after it, other we, parties the, like us, the, the or tripod. something similar, we the but we're not allowed to know any of it, which makes sense, because they're spies. They're all separate teams. Did what if we're dirty and we're... Count? Can we scry on that or anything? No, I guess not. Are you able to scry on on things you have never seen before? It would be similar, obviously, to the one that we possessed. How would it, I pick between I the two? I didn't think about that for a minute. If I was clever, I would have it very protected from such things. Yeah, like, Got to start know. Yeah. Though. This thing is, like, yeah, yeah, very yeah, important. Yeah, hold on, no, 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 I agree with Caduceus. Well, we I, I would be shocked if it wasn't I mean, if blocked we by can go back to Felderwin and all sorts of spells or guarded and we could, magic people could detect. You know, we could try to get our hands on the living scourge. It's, it's a creature sort of thing. I can I can scry on people. You can scry on a location, but you had to have seen the location before. I can scry on a location yeah. or a people, but not like an object, right? Correct. Huh. Well, going back to what Essex said, the members of the assembly. Do we know all the members of the assembly? We know a lot I mean, of them. I, I assume. Caleb does. I would need to go through notes. There's a lot. There's a lot of them. Yeah, what I was gonna go say. Yeah. There has to be a lot. On each one. What if we go back to Usa? 
Aranus and Nicodranus. Yusa? Mm. Yusa. What would the, he say? What would he know? He's a Arcanist. sort of on the outs Arcanist. He might he have doesn't like the academy. Idea. He doesn't like the academy, but you know, you know how like all rich people know each other. I do know that. <laughs> don't know <Yeah>. that. <laughs> you know, he might have. I don't know heard that. Rumor. Mm. You know how all rich don't people like kind of know each other. Where his things this lie. He is. I mean, we we've we've met in person. A lot of the people we're talking you about. You know, somebody that seemed to have a lot of information about lots of different things. If I had some incense and the, some um, ivory. The gentleman? The pillow, I wouldn't papa? mind. Check your papa. What? Potentially papa, but... Potentially papa. You know, I mean, papa. he had his hands on a lot of different things. He might true. have heard Double about paid. such a papa. big artifact crossing the lines. That also... And he's back in... Sadash. Yeah. yeah. We have all these... We haven't seen the gentleman in, leads in, in a the half a lifetime. Tuff keep coming up. And they tend to be expert smugglers. That is true, too. If I was the Academy, I would try and distance myself from any of this on my hands as much as I could. Well, I we hire. know they were in possession of one in Zadash. Exactly. Why Why couldn't they move the others? Well, they would. They are. Yeah, they are. The military is moving. We already were told. You said. Yeah, they're sending more military towards Urzin, yes. But they would still be trying to use it in the way we they were using about it when stole. I think we said it was in the direction or was the place where all the turtles. Like, it was like in that vicinity where the giant since turtles were. Duna magic. Now that you Duna have tapped into that. That's what you call it, right? Essex sensing Duna magic. Yeah. Duna magic. Duna magic. Are you talking about jacking into the mainframe? Yeah. <laughs> Can jacking you do that? jacking <laughs> into the main. Frame. It is referred to as dunamancy. Yeah, duna magic. Oh boy. I'm just shortening it. He just turned a, his someone races. into a. Pretzel Try not to make it insulting, Bo. I know Bo's joking down. around, but <laughs> it's fine. Essek might it's get frustrated and annoyed. Grasp. It's uh, elaborate and esoteric depths. I'm making a pun. You don't have to be patronizing. But I always do. That's true. <laughs> Puns by the very nature. I could meditate upon the uh, uh, upon the piece if I had. I would need some incense and some ivory. But I could, I could uh, maybe glean some information that we didn't have. It's not a bad idea. I actually like Jester's idea of the gentleman. I mean, he is very well connected, and mm -hmm. if they're trying to move, albeit discreetly, through the empire. And well, I think that. Uh, my good friend Beauregard was being somewhat facetious. Uh, it's not a bad point either if there is any other. Yeah, um, I, that's what I was saying. Don't ask in an insulting way, or claim. Essex might be like, could I would have helped, but you're mocking my search. crap. Know that I. I love my home. My home is out of control. I want to end a conflict, I know. Many here think that that is insanity. I do not. And everything that I am learning here, I mean for the good of both our people. Make a persuasion check. I touched him hey, on the shoulder. Hey, he's coming across. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sneak it in there. Sneak it in there. Yeah. Guidance. That's a d4. Add a, a, a d4 too. That is crazy cocked. Landed on your mouth. <laughs> 22. That's a good show. 22. 22. All right. So she remembered the guidance. Okay. Ooh, good four. That's a good mm -hmm. So Caleb got the extra D4. Gather your books. Okay, we're going to learn they more dunamancy. <laughs> They're on me at. We're holstered. The dead. Awesome. All of us? Just. If you wish to watch, but I gather this might be a bit above your. Pay grade. Respective levels of understanding. I have Above some shopping to do. Well, your pay I grade of like dunamancy. Just, no, he's laying it on thick. Yeah. I'm just being honest. Yeah, no, could it's the truth. Gather some things while they're doing. We're not. Yeah, we're, we're just being real. We've got real. Our own notes and books we have to hit. No, you Perfect. Don't. You don't yes, I do. Yes, things. I do. I punch your book. <laughs> fucking face. Shut up. You go get some ivory, I guess. For you, Caduce. A little Caduce. ivory, a little incense would go a long way. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna go fucking watch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jester, <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. Screw you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go show. make my popcorn in the kitchen, I'm and I'm gonna go, go sit down and watch them do like, it. Carm- I Carm- mean, Carm- I would find it interesting. I would like I'm to say it might get boring though. What if it's like them doing the same thing over and over, and like he can't figure it out? It might get boring quick. But I check it out. What is it you wish to do? The do music kicked in interesting too. Utility and the manipulation of the world around you. I'm always. Okay. Manipulation of the world. Perhaps. Do you enjoy the idea of drawing the potential from discarded timelines? That is intriguing. <laughs> yeah, like How what? Do you... How do? Yeah. Let me show you. That and almost sounds like changing beneath the cloak. Discarded time. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text you two spells. Hmm? I'm gonna text you two spells. <laughs> what does that even mean? To break. me, that almost Which means. Be oh, we're going on the break. I guess about now, while we're doing this. <laughs> Since it is uh, nearly 8:40, and it seems like a good rest point for us to take a quick break and then pick up from there. Um, so we'll be back here in just a minute as the uh, as the, the wizards I'm convene about that and uh, have a, a, a lesson. Yo, Widow Gast, you up? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll be back here in a few minutes. In the meantime, we do have our Wormwood giveaway Yo, this Widow evening Gast. tonight. Oh, what? Is it one of the what? Ones? Is it pretty? Oh, it's so new, is, is it a new one? This is the new redesigned Hero oh. Vaults oh, with art so by Devin Rue and Crystal Sully, oh, friends of the show. Ah, oh, custom. Is, oh, this oh, oh, piece here. Oh, beautiful. Uh, yeah, this in specifically is the the I think it's the purple heart, right? Mm-hmm. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, purple. Whatever. This is my favorite ever. Cool How does he not know um, it? I talked to him. But all the time. one lucky person will have this. Uh, Bequeath to them at the end of this break. Uh, the keyword tonight is Bequeath. faith. F A I T H. Faith. Got Once it. in the chat, faith. Faith. we can't. That's we don't we have can, the yeah. rights. Yeah, we That's can't we say. Can. <laughs> this God happens. Um, but yeah, so once in the chat, more than one, you'll be disqualified. Uh, once again, US and Canada only, excluding Quebec. We'll uh, be back here shortly with the winner. All right, guys, that's it for Camp A2, episode 77, Mighty Nine Time. So we finish the talk with this unnamed person, the Scourger, and it goes horribly wrong. I am so happy I did not continue on the Patreon hour because we were already over by like a minute, maybe. I don't even know. But it was close enough where I'm like, this conversation is either just about to end or it might go on for another five minutes. It seemed like it was coming to an end, though, and I almost was going to roll with it a little longer. I'm happy we got to see that in the YouTube video, because then everyone gets to see it. She lunges at Caleb, breaks the chain, or the chain was already broke. She was waiting for a moment to strike. I have to assume that when she said, I'm growing impatient, I thought when she lunged forward, this is, I mean, these are trained assassin-type people. I thought she was going to somehow, like, twist her body Being it's so emaciated, I thought she was going to somehow snap her own neck or something. Like, if she can move a foot in either direction, I know people that, like, I mean, well, I don't know people, but I've seen it done before. Where, like, you're taken and you don't want to be tortured for information, so you snap your own neck or kill yourself in some form. I thought when she lunged, that's what she was doing. Instead, she had broken a chain, whips out this sharpened metal object, stabs Caleb in the throat. And this is right after Caleb said... I will stick around till the end because you're like a sister to me. Stabs him in the throat. Caleb took like at least a third, if not more, closer to probably like half damage and was bleeding out. Essek and team runs in, crush her. Essek did it. kind of look at Caleb, not kind of. He looked right at Caleb and said, what do you think? And Caleb was like, crush. Essek crushes the torso, ripping the arms and legs out of the sockets. This person is no more. Then we ask, can we interrogate the corpse we don't have the ability there's this whole you know conversation that goes on and now because of guidance probably because it was a 22 on the roll that was with the extra d4 who knows maybe without the guidance we wouldn't have learned more dunamancy but what did that mean at the end essek is like do you want to be able to do something with timelines that are forgotten and changing the course of his I don't know. I'd have to go rewatch it and I don't want to have to like rewind it and rewatch it again right now. But 
it led me to believe something to the effect of, and Caleb even said, like, what exactly does that mean? The first thing I thought was that somehow you could slightly change the course of history. But obviously that means way too much powerfulness. And ha eh, if you could do that, there's got to be like, it, it can't be that. In my mind that like, I was like, what? You can't like, it, 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 I don't know. Maybe you could do little things that I don't know. We're going to find out. Matt said I'm going to text it to Caleb, so I'm not even going to bother theorizing like a crazy person because I'm sure I'm wrong because that just seems too powerful and crazy. So it's got to be something else. But he said something about forgotten timelines. I don't know what that could mean. I'm very curious. You guys let me know. We're going to jump into the live stream on Friday. It's going to be a little under two hours from what I saw. And... We'll go from there. You guys want to see more of what I do in the description of every video as a link for Patreon. You'll see the Patreon hour exclusive for every episode of Campaign 2, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Purse of Interest, The New Justified, ends in two weeks. Amazing. I love it. Heartstopper 2 and High School Musical Season 4 just started as well. Hundreds of movies and shows. You guys know the deal. Check in the description for the link for Patreon. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.